Hello and welcome back to turn four of Mario Party Superstars with four players. What excitement we have here in this very special game session, a meeting that can only happen when everybody's schedule lines up. In this part, we return to Horrorland in order to determine who will be the superstar once and for all. Luigi is 15, taking a 15, commanding 15, lead of the 15. game with a Damn timely it. dice block roll using double dice, well, I'm sorry, Mushroom, in order to steal the star. The Fweed has been accessed, and that I mean, means that uh, there will be Fweed. effectively fleet. double dice. James, hit the goddamn dice block. <laughs> That's right, give up your coins. All of the coins. Buy something. Mm, uh, double dice, obviously. Actually, it might yeah, have been uh, interesting for him to use Chomp Call here, given the, uh, given how you are slightly ahead of him, but... Maybe. I mean, all that... We, we have had a game where all we did was fucking just screw up the other player's chances at getting Chomp Call. By the time we got to the last five turns of the game, nobody had any stars. <laughs> and it was very awkward. Like, how are we going to determine the winner of a game when nobody could fucking make progress? <laughs> Unfortunately, Luigi has too many items, so he's got to get rid of uh, the cursed block. I actually think that the cursed block is well. The cursed block is worse than the custom dice block, so. Well, I mean, we don't want to be mean. Hey! hey. Oh look! We all got the, uh, the six women, coins. The women's get to steal all the money from the bank. Well, here comes the pop gun! Yay! Pop gun! Congratulations! You've won the prize. Poor Everybody James. versus Waluigi. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Not talk of war. Okay, this is uh, this is famously one of the worst Mario Party one mini games where uh, you had to uh, where you had to rotate the uh, uh, the analog stick. Is uh, is this actually still rotate? It, it is still rotate. Okay, but it's they, rotate on a D pad, not the analog stick, right? The only di yes, you have to rotate. You can't. You can't rotate on the D pad. <laughs> well, I mean, you can, but oh god, we we have them. We have them. You thought game your for switch that, controllers had drift before. So whoever is wearing the Bowser costume is having their movement actions multiplied by three, while the other three players have their movement actions multiplied by one. So usually, the player who is wearing the Bowser costume will win the game. Yeah. Especially if they're really good at rotating the joystick, not by using the palm of their hands, because after 25 years of research, they've come to realize that a lot of players have been getting blisters on the palm of their hands because they use the palm of their hands in order to rotate the joystick. Mm. All right, question cloud. is, do I what, oh, what you looking yep. on the board for? I'm looking to see who is the next closest player to the star, and that would be James. Um, yes, that would be, it would be Luigi. Yep, that would be Mel, because Mel is five units away, James is nine units away, so what do you do when you can't get the star? You make sure nobody can get the star. Oh! Whoa! Okay, so Chomp Call, uh, Chomp Call doesn't summon the, the stealing Chomp. All right, just, uh, it just warps uh, the star away. Okay. Yep. I thought it was going to be uh, the, one of the other Mario Party uh, incarnations where it uh, summons a chain chomp for you to ride, and then every uh, opponent that you hit, you steal coins from. Yeah, one of the Mario Party games. And like then you got screwed over by your die. Did I? Yeah. You, you're going to land on the star with not enough coins. Oh, I'm going to have even fewer coins. I need double dice. Although what sucks about Horrorland is that you don't have a nice little Koopa Troopa giving you 10 coins just for rotating back to the start of the map. <laughs> Alright, so the event space is going to... It just switch... Oh, alright. I thought it was going to actually get rid of the Thwomp. Huh. Uh, or I'm moving to the other path. It incapacitates Thwomp, actually. During the daytime, you can pay Thwomp a fee of five coins so that he will switch sides and get out of your way so you can go down the path that he was guarding. But however, at nighttime, not only can you not talk to him, he is frozen by a horror spell that ah. causes him to be immovable no matter what. Uh-oh. 
James is not. Oh, he did actually make it. Oh, he got the lucky 10. So that star is all his. And he has enough coins to buy items. You should keep stocked on your items, especially the double dice. Yeah. If you're actually decent enough yeah. at the mini games, uh, uh, it's a foregone conclusion that you're uh, likely to win uh, uh, Mario Party. Almost. Because winning lots of mini games will give you lots of coins. If you have lots of coins, you can buy items on every turn. You could screw up the other player's actions by doing like level-based mini games. I mean, how you can you can pay you can pay Magic Koopa to change the night cycle to the there we go. Other it's finally on the far edge of the map. Yep. Now everybody's got to start going to the left, and nobody. Well, uh, Luigi is in position to get the next star. But nobody else is. Oh, it's starting. It's warming up to be quite a Mario Party. Everybody have a good time. Yoink. I'm kind of surprised that Mel isn't actually using her uh, her custom dice blocks in order to in order to move across the uh, uh, the board slightly faster. Hey, you're just uh, a day away and a dollar short. <laughs> You get nothing. Don't score a one, Miss Daisy. How about a mushroom? Yeah, guarantee that you don't get that one. Yep. Yeah, use a mushroom. Add five to your dice roll. That's some good Mario Party right there. You see, just because it's your first time playing the game doesn't mean you can't have a good time. Oh, she should have bought double dice. Oh, well. Hmm... Nah, uh, you don't want to. You don't want to talk to this particular character just yet. This is Mr. I. If you pay Mr. I three coins and he gives you a discount depending on the day-night cycle, he will warp you to the. Well, I mean, it says warp. Uh, well, he chases but you he's to the other warp side you too of the far board. Away is the problem. Yep, you will go past the star. So the answer is to say no, and try to grind up some more coins. Either that or. Anticipate that you're going to miss out on the star and try to choose a position away from the other players so that the next time Toadette warps, you could be the one closest. Yeah, but Toadette's actually been favoring the southern half of the board so far. Uh, so far, there's still a lot of game left and a lot can happen in 10 turns. Hmm. Alright, a, a coin multiplier game. On four players, what do we got here? Ice there rink. There can only be one winner. Ah, po a uh, pokey pummel. pummel. Okay. One of James's favorite games, because all you have to do is just hit that button as fast as you possibly can. I think he even sets a new record during this recording. Three, two, two, one. Whack that, po whack that pokey. Jesus Christ. And just nope, it. he did not. He was slow by two seconds. Catch that rose. Romance that dolphin. So James still maintains a commanding lead. The sixth turn of the game. Mm. Things are about to change for the fortunes of our human players. Mm, are you sure? Because you just scored a one, so... So that means I get to land on a lucky space and also knock James out of the way because he can be a doofus. Ah, damn it. Woo! Look, Skeleton Key is very important in certain maps. So far, it's not all that important here. So, one particular game that we had in Horrorland, I almost got King Boo to steal stars from every other player in the game, and I realized going into it that if I had caused that to happen, then I probably would win the game, because while everybody else is minus one star, I would be plus three stars for 150 coins. That's King Boo's headstone in the back row, in the background right there. So you have to, you have to see King Boo at night, you have to pay him 150 coins. You can be sabotaged if people are keeping an eye on your position on the board and how many coins you have. Kind of like a game of Magic How the, the hell Gathering. How you score 150 just... coins without uh, without being without being you know uh, just the best uh, minigame player though? 
that was the result of a battle mini game. Ah, okay. Because in a battle mini game, if you come in first, you get the lion's share of the take. I mean, the pot. Yeah, Mel makes a good move by not using the skeleton key there, because the boo that lies beyond that particular gate is only accessible during the daytime. Mm, event space. I kind of don't like the event space here simply because it just switches from day to it just switches uh, day to night and vice versa. And so far, the day night mechanics haven't really impacted this particular session so much. On a longer on a longer board, I I suspect that they would actually be you know uh, rather significant, but they're not significant yet. Yeah, right, you guys ready for some chip shot golf? Uh, one of the most one of the most famous Mario Party mini games of all time. Select your power. Uh, Designate your trajectory, and miss the fucking shot by yards. Everybody get to practice, but just because you practice on this hole does not necessarily mean you know what's gonna happen during the next hole. <laughs> hole in one. So James is stoked, right, saying, like, so. I got this. Whoever goes first is at a significant disadvantage because they're the ones who tell everybody else how hard to hit the ball. <laughs> yeah. If you play this game so enough it's time... minus one from the flag? Uh, oh, that was and, probably too and hard. Hit it way too hard. He hit it way too hard. Heh, <laughs> sucks to be you. Luigi's turn. Come on, Mel. You could do it. Hit that ball. Boom. See, it's like Mario Golf, except yeah, way simpler. Yeah, minus one from the flag uh, and, sli and slightly to the left. So, Mel has a commanding lead. So, you basically have to get a hole in one at this point. But nobody told Noel. nobody told Noelle that she has to adjust her power on the shot, or that will happen. My turn. Oh. 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 And too far. Too far, but you came in second. I think there is a consolation prize for second and third place in this one. And in the next episode, we will finish up Horrorland. Be safe, everybody. No, we're not gonna finish it up. You sure? We're just getting we're just getting started. It's turn seven, fools.